funnels that convert, how we got into the two comma club. Now guys, I wanna share with you a quick story, but I wanna first of all, make sure that everyone knows what the two comma, comma club is, because you may see this cool plaque behind us, right? And no, I am not a rap mogul, that's not one of my you know, gold platinum LPs. What the two comma club is, it's something that was created by a platform called ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels is a landing page building piece of software. A lot of people hear the word funnel, and you know, depending on who you are, if you're 18 year old kid, you may think it's how you can drink beer really fast, you may think it's how you put oil or petrol into a car. Now, if you think of it and imagine what a funnel is, right? It's a shape like this that goes down, right? Things go on the top and they come out the bottom. Really, it's an easy way for you to bring people in, a good group of people, and you narrow down to the most ideal person who wants to work with you and purchase your products and services. So if we were to distill it down, it's a website, right? A simple page on a website with only one key objective, to get someone to opt in or get someone to purchase. So if you imagine going into a store and looking at a hundred different things and being confused and pulled in different ways, you went in to get a bottle of milk, you leave with chocolate bars, a meat pie, um, a bag of lettuce, and you forgot the bottle of milk, right? That's generally what happens when you go to the shops. We don't want people to have that experience online. We wanna make it simple for them because it's very distracting online. We wanna keep it easy and effortless for people. So ClickFunnels do that. They're a landing page builder software that allows you to look at it, to understand and build it very, very simply. There's no stress, there's no overwhelm, there's no technical ability. You don't need to be a coder or a crazy designer. It's drag and drop. Now what they've done is they've built a community, a community of people who are really, really, really passionate about building these, about taking business online, about growing and scaling businesses fast using the digital media, using the digital world. Now, what is the two comma club? So the two comma club, right? If you imagine two commas in numbers is for people that have done over $1 million in sales through one single funnel. So through one set of pages, what they've done, if you imagine making a million dollars with your website, they've done that, right? But just through one set of pages, one funnel, if you will, right? Funnel in inverted commas. So they've gone through and created a club for those people who have been able to achieve that. You have to verify, you have to submit documents. They check your funnel, see how many, you know, if you had one person opt in, um, probably you didn't make a million dollars. Maybe you did, maybe you have a million dollar product and your conversion rate's great. But most of the time, most people don't have that. So they check those out. You submit your statistics and then you would get awarded. If you meet the criteria, you'll get awarded with a two comma club award, which sounds good and great. Right, a lot of people go, oh, maybe that's really easy, maybe that's really hard, but what are the things that make a funnel convert? Well, I'll tell you about our funnel that we achieved this with. It was a webinar funnel where we drive cold traffic in, so people that didn't know about us, they would watch me talking about what we do and how we help and giving them some ideas and strategies, and then from there, we would follow up with them. Now, the biggest and most important thing and the thing that most people get wrong is your funnel doesn't matter your offer matters. The most important thing is what you're putting out there to the marketplace. So we were teaching people how to get 55 leads per day in any niche using social media strategies. And that's what people were registering for. They were registering to go, hey, cool, I wanna know about this. I wanna find out more. I wanna see how can I do and achieve that. And then we just started directing traffic into there. Now look, we didn't have people buying online. We didn't just have people buying a $7 product or a $997 product. What we did that made our funnel convert, because look, I'll be honest, my webinar was not, I was not the best at closing. I was not the best at finishing the webinar off and then getting people to go and buy a 97, 997, $197 product, whatever that might be. What I was really good at is speaking to people, right? I was really good at having a conversation because I had great levels of certainty. I had like great levels of interaction with people. So what I would do, is myself and our sales team is that when people would register, I would ask them for their name, email, and phone number. What we would then do is we'd bring them into our CRM, our CRM system where we could track and we could see. And then what we would do is we would call them and go, hey, have you watched the webinar? Have you not watched the webinar? Great, let's see how we can help you. And we would have a continually ongoing dialogue with them around how we can help. We'd be like, yeah, cool, we wanna help you. How can we help? What are your goals? Have you watched the webinar? What do you wanna achieve? And we would follow up with them. And through that process, using our funnel, our webinar funnel to generate that inquiry, we would pick up the phone, we'd have conversations with them, and we would start to see how we could really drive and really improve their lives and their businesses using social media. And that's what we focused on. 
So yes, there was many different iterations, right? But building a funnel that converts comes down to, as a lot of things do that you've probably heard me talk about, your niche, your offer, and your copy, right? So the offer was really important because if it was something that no one cared about, no one would register. And you also need to be able to identify what are you good at, right? So if you're not really good at, it, at using what we call like a, vi a video sales letter or trying to encourage people to take action from a webinar or from say video, how can you then inspire them to take action? So for me, it was picking up the phone and calling them. So we said, great, as long as we can get people there on the webinar, on the training, what we'll do is we'll drive them across to booking a call with us because we know that we can work well there. That's really, really important for us. And that's what we focus on is going, cool, how can we get as many people as possible in through this process so that we could help them, so that we could communicate with them and then we could enroll them in what we do. So creating a funnel that converts really heavily lies on those three key areas, that niche, that offer, and that copy. And if you don't have that, doesn't really matter. And probably if you were to wrap that up in a neat little package, the most important thing on top of that is traffic, is making sure you've got people going to it. Because you can have the best offer in the world, right? I liken it to having a store. If you have the best Nike store, right? And you've got the best shoes, shirts, everything, best prices, it's amazing. Everyone should love it. If no one knows, if you go into the back suburbs of a certain city or town and then you just open, you set it all up, you don't tell anyone you're doing it. You set it all up, you get it all nicely decked out, you do your fit out, you have all your clothes and everything like that, and then you just open the doors. And you sit there, twiddling your thumbs, hoping that someone's gonna walk past and walk across it. That's not going to work, right? You can't just hope that suddenly people are gonna rock up. You can't just hope that people are gonna come into your funnel. You need to have a promotion strategy to bring those people in. So we just used Facebook ads, right? We drove Facebook ads, we drove that cold traffic of people who we thought were most likely to want what we were talking about, to really wanna know what we were about and how we could help them. We drive those people in, and then they get to learn about us, interact with us, they get to see what we do, how we do it, they get to understand exactly what how we operate. Then from there, we can have a conversation with them about what we do. But if we just set up our webinar, we set up our funnel, we spend all this time, energy and effort, right? We've been watching everyone else do it. We need a funnel, we set it up, and we just hope someone comes across us. That is not going to work, right? We need to drive people in there. You can't just manifest a two comma club award sitting there crossing your fingers, hoping that it's gonna come. You've gotta have a way to consistently drive people in there. So that is the key to having a converting funnel. That's how we got in the two comma club is because we didn't just think that we're gonna wait and see and hopefully people will come through and hopefully people will buy. Like I tried doing a sale to a product, a $997 product in there, didn't work, wasn't working for us. So if, you know, I think it was Einstein, whether it's actually true, he said this or not, said that if you do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, that's the definition of crazy, right? So we said, cool, let's change it. Let's add a phone number to the front, let's call, I wanna hit up, let me, let me holler at all these people and see what they're doing, see how we can help them. And by doing that, we're able to find out that, yes, this is the easiest way for us to do this. This is the easiest way for us to be able to build a converting funnel is to do it like this. Bring those people in and then have a phone call conversation with them. Now, am I saying that's the way for you to do it? Absolutely not. All I'm saying is that that's something that you should be thinking about is going, what is my key strength? Where do my key strengths lie? And then how can you optimize and utilize them to help you grow and scale? That is the most important thing. That is what I want for you to take from this video. Not that you need a funnel, but you need to figure out exactly how you can bring people into your world so that you can enroll them in what it is that you do, right? Plain and simple. Then hopefully for you, you'll be able to get something like a two common club award. Even if you don't get the plaque, but hopefully you'll be able to bring yourself in tons of money because you help tons of people. That is my wish for you. So hopefully that you can do that too. Now guys, my goal with all of these videos is make sure that this was informative and educational and now you get a really good understanding of exactly what it is that we do and how we help you, right? And you can go out there, execute upon that. You don't just need a funnel, you need a converting funnel, you need to figure out your right offer to ensure that you get that outcome. So for today, guys, that is it. If you liked the video, please give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, give us a comment, like, share with us what you liked best, right? We really uh, appreciate any feedback and let us know what else you would like to learn from us, how else we can help you get the best results possible online and make sure that you subscribe so that you can get these videos first before anyone else. Guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. We'll see you then. Adios.